Hello and welcome back. Give me a second here. Mm -hmm. Coffee. All right. Ooh, um, let's turn Butcher on for a moment. And actually, speaking of, we should make a nice meal. Um, we are inspired. I've probably been inspired for a very long time. Um, preserve our fresh food. Uh, let me see. Choose ingredients to cook with. We're going to do bone meal. Um... We're gonna do skulk. Y'all know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do bone meal, skulk, and honey. We're gonna we're gonna try and put the dream meal together. Plus two AV, plus two DV. Uh, whenever you take tam damage, there's twelve to fifteen percent chance you gain six AV for fifty turns. That's not bad. Whenever you suffer a two times two or greater physical penetration, you gain eight strength. Um, this isn't bad. I would prefer the AV, but I mean, I guess I get the AV. You know what I want, though? I want that, uh, plus four agility, plus four strength, and then plus two AV. Anything less than that is unacceptable. Um, okay, so a dervish has decided I, I am not welcome to go that way. We're looking for the stairs down. Ah, oh, we got pearl frogs again. Gosh darn. We do always be uh, m messing with pearl frogs. Oh, okay. Hello. Slimy goat folk clip off. Uh, that one might be... That one might sting a little bit. Not sure. I'm going to try it at melee. I always have my force field if things go squirrely. Um, they are poisoned... Let's go ahead and um, swipe their whatever weapon they've got out of their hand. Um, you disarm them of their crystal battle axe. Oh, they had a chance to disarm me actually. And I, I have uh, I have slimy friends at, at my uh, disposal. Thank you, slimy friends. You guys are the best. Y'all know. Y'all know I I, I love you. Um, Okay, uh, can we, can we, yeah, force field gone, thank you. Do we have a clairvoyance? We do have a clairvoyance, let's see what's over here. We've got some beards, they seem to be cool with us. We've also got, is that an advanced scrappable deposit box? What is that? I don't believe I've ever seen a scrappable depo deposit box. We've got our dervish somewhere. I want that bone meal. Get back here, bone. Oh, he's gonna be difficult about it. Let's just dig our way into here. Did we get our AV? So we just got our AV, so our AV is at 22 now. Which is really nice, I gotta say. There's our bone, bone worm. Uh, let's go ahead and um, toggle butcher corpse back on. I'm basically going to do it this way. Like, there's very few things I actually care about butchering. All right, let's go downstairs. Oh, that's, this is a, a little bit of a bummer. I'm going to turn my force field on. Actually, if we can get some bone meal, like a lot of bone meal out of this... I am a happy, I am a happy camper. So we've got some life saps. We've got a lot of bone worms. I might actually, hmm. Let's, yeah. Not a huge fan of this. Let's, uh, do we, do we still have a nano pneumatic? We do not. I should have left the Zeta Chrome Battle Axe. I don't know why I brought it with me. I guess I can, I, I, I guess I'm doing the whole, like, um, I'm just going to make a nano pneumatic whenever I need it and then disassemble it whenever I don't need it. Um, so we made one. It, I, I don't know how much it costs to give it jacked. 
it costs me a two and a four bit and then i don't I, like that i don't get that back so let's go ahead and just install a nuclear cell a fresh one and then equip manual this sucks we lose temporal fugue and now we don't have enough glimmer to summon assassins but it's fine um are we over encumbered right now yeah we are big time um i think we can't cook right already can't fire here oh i can cook okay um i must have some skill points oh not a lot i was hoping i'd have enough to take uh whatever i can't remember the name of it the skill that lets me endurance and then um no and that's not it callus is great i i do want callus what i want is willpower self-discipline self-discipline and fasting way i want i want those two i don't think it's going to count uh right now though i i think that um whatever meal i'm using right now is is doomed you know let's go ahead and swap to our nano pneumatic jackhammer carrying too much to move again uh i guess i didn't drop anything um i guess i did pick up some boots yeah we have a lot of stuff here that i should have sold uh we can disassemble the thermo cask easy they're worth something for sure, but yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay, this is going to be a nightmare <laughs> historic site. Look at it. Look at it. The, 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 the place is filling up. It's filling up with the... Uh, with bone. I'm just going to turn, I'm going to, I'm going to leave Butcher on. Despite the fact that it's going to fill up my inventory. But th I cannot pass up all this bone meal. This is actually incredible. This is incredible, but oh my goodness. I've, I've never had so much bone meal. This is actually better than the Tomb of the Eaters. Oh my god. Let's just do auto explore. It's a bit dangerous because I don't know what else is awaiting us. I didn't mean to do temporal fugue. Oops. I'm being flashbanged multiple times. Uh, if I died like this, wouldn't that suck? Ow. Those waveform worms always give me a little bit of a spook because they uh, they do a sizable chunk of damage. They do a sizable amount of damage, but only once and then they die. But still, every single time I'm like, oh my god, what just hit me? Something just hit me for damage. You know, I'm not used to taking damage when I get to a certain point. Okay, um... And, I, you know, honestly, if there's a lot... If, if there's enough of them, there's a chance they could kill me. Where did it go? Oh, dang. Yeah, like it's it takes a good chunk of my health out every single time. I feel like there's still some bone worms in here somewhere. Ouch. Need to we need to get rid of those. Ah, oh, uh meditate is such a good skill. I I love it. Okay, let's um let's back up. Reload. Yeah, ow. You know? Ow? Ow. <laughs> There's no way to uh, negate that also. Like, 
they just get to do that for free. I don't know if having force bubble on would help. Kind of does. Oh God, that's a lot of waveform worms. If there's one thing that could kill me, it's this room. <laughs> Um, we're just gonna take this slow. I think what I'll do is I'll go down. If we can kill one there, that'd be nice. Uh, I'm gonna Temporal Fugue. And I'm just gonna wait. Yeah. That's bound to happen, unfortunately. I'm gonna put my Force Field on. We can, um, oh, I guess we can't, you, you can't clairvoyance because it, all of your ego disappears when you get flashed. Just trying desperately to get rid of some of these waveform worms. This is a, this is a mess. I feel like I should get rid of flashbangs. Like I should just disassemble all my flashbangs and then I won't get flashed every single time I Temporal Fugue. Uh, we see somehow we're still on good terms with this Elder Flamebeard, which thank God. Uh, I'm just gonna wait up here for a moment. I, I, the clairvoyance is actually saving my life here. Like it's 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 allowing me to continue this historic site. I wouldn't have been able to without it. Tbh. We got more bone meal. Are we hungry yet? Nope. What do we got in here? Floating glow sphere. We'll take it. Disassemble that. We do have more bone worms. Nice. Where are you, Bone? There you are. I'm a little bit worried about the flame beard. Even though they're my friend, they have the potential to accidentally kill me. Remember, like, fire and heat, it's one of those things that can instantly kill you. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what your AV is. You can have the highest AV of all time, and you could still die of heat. I am very excited about these. First of all, I'm very excited to see what we get from this because um, we might get an amazing item from this. How come I'm not butchering that food? Oh, I did. Also, I'm excited about all the bone meal. Like, it's for real, that's... It's so nice. Bone meal is like one of my favorite ingredients in the game. Anything over there? No, we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rest. Wait 63 turns. It probably actually said 63 turns. Uh, wait 15 turns. I wish it. I wish it worked a little bit better. I understand why it doesn't, but it's okay. So now, what do we got going on here? We got more waveform worms. Fortunately, we have a little column here. I'm pretty sure they can't. Pass, like if they pass through me oh they can pass through the wall actually not worried too much about the uh bone meal worm or bone worm they don't really do much damage as far as i know but it, i don't think they can i don't think waveform worms can pass through the wall if their destination is in the wall so this is actually the ideal way to encounter a bunch of waveform worms because they can't do anything or level 30 that means after we're done with this historic site we can go and hand in all of our books i'm i'm pretty excited about that that's a big deal uh i have a f like <laughs> there's a few things the few questions i get very often with the series one of them is how do i, I use this point of interest menu that's always backspace I'm, I'm happy to answer that question whenever it comes up, which is often. It's basically every single time I use it. Um, 
The second question I've been getting a lot is why do I hoard my books? Um, the reason I hoard my books is because of the XP gain you get from handing in books and Resha lore is a flat rate. Meaning you get 100 XP at level 5, you also get 100 XP at level 25. Um, whereas the XP you gain from killing monsters is uh, dynamic or it scales down um, the more powerful you become. So therefore, XP becomes more valuable later in the game um, because you have to fight harder and harder creatures and eventually there's diminishing returns even on the hardest creatures. So, uh, therefore, hoarding your books is a good idea because it means that you can cash it in when the XP is at its most valuable. I'm not too healthy right now. Let's just go ahead and... I would really like to kill that last waveform worm, but um, I'd, also, I'd much prefer being safer. So let's just go ahead and rest for a minute. Um, there's more stuff over here. We got dogs. We have dogs, but they're all part of... They all seem pretty cool with me, which is good. We're getting really good XP. Uh, although, actually, the waveform worms are only 32. See, actually, that... that sh exempt There's a, your example case right there. The waveform worms, I can scroll up here a little bit, I think. Um, waveform worms were, were, uh, maybe not actually shoot. They were giving me like 800 XP, I think. And now they're giving me 312. So, uh, yeah, they, they, it, we've just seen once you pass a level, like a fifth, five level increment threshold, um, you see all of your XP gains tank considerably. So we have a dynamic turret tinker here. They are cool with us for now. We also have a mechanist. Houndmaster. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's interesting. They have nothing to trade. They're just kind of here. They're here. They're hanging out. Nice. Good for them, honestly. There's, I, I hope, our last... Um, wave wave worm and i think our last uh bone worm as well let's have a quick look at that statue i don't even think that was new lore all right um i'm gonna wait 46 turns for our clairvoyance to come back Clairvo oh we still have a bone worm where is ah there they are I actually did a little tiny chip damage on me Clairvoyance really is uh, doing doing the Lord's work right now. Okay, this is a different kind of room for sure. Uh, we do have one waveform worm, and this is their ideal scenario, in which they're going to be able to be able to attack me, and then they'll be behind a wall. Um, we are friends to this acid gas miner, but I don't want them to have their way. Oh, oh. Uh, Waveform Worm just like 100% beefed it. So that's good for us. Um, uh, these life saps are kind of a problem. They are a permanent downgrade to our health, I believe. This is a problem. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. No! Doesn't penetrate your armor. Okay, cool. Um, that could have been bad. I was just trying to get rid of that acid gas miner because it was just going to be a mess. It was going to... You know, whether or not we're on good terms with the um, miner does not really change the fact that we're not on good terms with mines. They're, they're, they're not really part of any faction. Um, not really seeing anything too dangerous right now. What happened to all the life saps? Did I kill them all already? A bone worm. Bone worm is having a hard time. I think it just stepped into a, a hole. No, no, I think it just kind of burrowed underground. It's 
spider is cool with us um this is uh this is why i equipped the nano pneumatic jackhammer it's just gonna make this historic site a lot easier for us let's go ahead and do it auto explore yeah we got a we got a bone the bone worms are are just kind of a problem they're making all these walls they're making they're just like creating a, a mess We got anything else going on over here? Not really. I know there's a. I know you're in here making more walls. Where are you? There you are. We we commit to dark calculus because uh, the the bone worms are are practicing a different kind of evil, which is constructive construction <laughs> constructive construction my goodness okay um there's probably another one in here it really feels like there's more walls oh wait a minute no i, I don't see any more okay we're fine um okay we've just oh we've got a magnetic thing i'm not a huge fan of those magnets tattoo gun is ripped from your body as is all of those walls get rid of magnets i'm not a huge fan of magnets did i get my tattoo gun back I actually kind of need the tattoo gun. I think that is for the um, Tomb of the Eaters quest. Uh, I don't seem to have it. Is it in miscellaneous? Uh oh. Did I accidentally disassemble it? Um. Hold on. I just need to have a look here. I'm not seeing my tattoo gun anywhere. Oh, you pass by an oily tattoo gun. You take it. Okay, cool. We got a tattoo gun back. That's good. What is, uh, is this a still, that's a maze beard. I'm fine with maze beards. There, oh, worm. I see you. I see you making walls. I see you building an empire. Don't be trying to build an empire. Not on my watch. Do we have anything over here? No, not really. Just, just worm stuff. Uh, how's it looking over here? Oh yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot we, um, there was that weird box of disassemblables that I didn't look at. Okay, we got one wave worm. Oh, we've got a couple wave worms over here. Um, yeah, I was about to say I really shouldn't be doing this until I have uh, clairvoyance back because I, I want to assess the danger. Ooh, that's a bit that's a bit of danger right there, but. Let's go ahead and put our force bubble up. I think it does help. Oh, I, I forgot to get rid of my flashbangs. I mean, I guess this helps. They don't really kill anything is the problem. Ugh, they, they EMP'd me. You're frozen solid. Yeah, Temporal Fugue is turning out to be uh, kind of a nightmare. It's good in certain circumstances. It's definitely not good in uh, any kind of closed quarters, I would say. Okay, let's do another clairvoyance. I guess they did get rid of a couple of waveform worms. 
these waveform worms really do suck. Like they're not. Oh, that's a rocket turret up there. It is my friend, fortunately, but good lord. We do have our legendary item here. What do we got? Logical Atlas of Karashur. Increases the agility of anyone who reads it. Well, that's amazing. Uh, oh, it only increased it by one. Well, I mean, that's still really good. Not gonna, I'm, not, I'm definitely not gonna look a get, uh, gift horse in the mouth there. But like, you, you'd, you'd hope it was more than one. <laughs> put you over your weight limit. Um, do we need to start disassembling some things? We could start... Oh, space inverters. Let's uh, disassemble space inverters. Those are seven bits. Uh, jacked eigen rifles are pretty hefty. I am starting to feel like... Um, I am starting to feel that maybe the uh, linear cannon is the way I want to go. It's it's feeling right, you know? It's feeling pretty good. I am very grateful that I'm on good terms with robots now. Because we've got some nasty ones here. What is this one? Null Ray. Null Ray is pretty bad. Uh, but I do actually kind of want... You have to have a long blade. Oh, that's right. I don't have my long blade equipped. I'm just gonna let it be for now. Well, I got another flashbang and an herberry and a dagger. Good dagger. Really good dagger. Um, is there seriously no staircase down? Laser turret cannot be moved. I, I definitely want as much bone meal as I can get from this. Oh, there's another one over there. Do you have anything? No, not really. Where is the worm? There it is. There's one anyway. My goodness, this place is filled with bone. Don't make it weird. Okay, um... Well, I guess that's it. I was kind of hoping for more from this place, but I, like, I thought it would be like deeper than, than this. Electric dunes, huh? I wonder if I missed a chest somewhere. I don't think I did. There's... I don't think that I yeah, I don't I don't think I did. There's just the one chest. Oh, there's a chest over there. It's not a pink one though, it's just a normal one. I already looted it. Yeah, um, okay, well that's still a historic site done. I do want to check out what this is. What is this? Oh, it's just a box. Scrappable deposit box. And it's got a maintenance security card. Okay, I mean, that's cool. Um, let's leave this place. I don't know where or where I'd like to go. I mean, there's a Moonstair uh, historic site, but that seems a little bit... Just too much. I don't think I've found, I haven't found the historic right, uh, ruin in the Rainbow Wood, unless that's it there. Nope, it's just Forgotten Ruins, Forgotten Ruins. So there's a historic site somewhere in the Rain Rainbow Wood. There's definitely a historic site, um, probably there's a couple of historic sites still in the Moonstair. There generally are, but I don't know. I'm not seeing one in the, in the river, usually there's a historic site in the river. So there's a few left um, in the world that I haven't found, but you know, we got one agility out of that, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm happy with that. You have no attribute to raise this. I was uh, having it, uh, having our actual base agility at 29 would be really nice. We have three mutation points. I think I should spend those on something. 
probably we could do like multiple legs height and quickness would actually be really nice um i should race triple jointed no i i don't i triple jointed is kind of a pain because you gotta raise it multiple times before it actually matters stinger we could do stinger I feel like agility matters more now than stinger because like uh, first of all our stingers at 12 pen which is pretty good it's good enough to get most things um higher agility means we have higher accuracy with our linear cannon which is doing the bulk of our damage uh moving uh, like multiple legs is like pretty much what's carrying us haha <laughs> Let's just, um, you see, experience a sense of memory of roasted boar smell. No, thank you. Uh, let's go to Eat Freehold. We're just going to walk there and I'm going to do some off camera, um, shopkeeping and, you know, exp you know, talking to some merchants and stuff. Uh, I think maybe, maybe on the next episode we do Tomb of the Eaters. It seems about that time, like depends on how much, if I get more Zeta Chrome armor. Um, that would make a big difference. Yeah, everyone has restocked. So, I'll, we'll see We'll see how much stuff I get. Uh, if I see a Zeta Chrome Longsword, I'll get it for the Golem. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some more, um, whatchamacallit. Like, there's a, there's a few things on my checklist that I do need. Um, I need some more Neutron Flux. We need two more of those. I mean, could do the Moonstayer thing. Like, now that I'm on okay terms with robots, um, the, the Moonstayer just became a lot less dangerous. So that's kind of nice. Um, so, so we'll, you know, we're, we're, we're working towards endgame now. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.